Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mohamed Haris and I'm a student of Habib University. Today I'll be presenting for my survey paper for my EE331 course, Electrical Machines. The objective, the objective of the paper was to discuss and compare between the two fully autonomous method of control for speed regulation whilst using parallel generators at uh, microgrids. Uh, microgrids are basically uh, a, uh, an amalgamation of uh, multiple generators which are uh, connected in parallel in order to support and feed to a big load. The question arises that why do we even need my, uh, parallel generators? Uh, the answer is pretty straightforward that uh, the loads these days are pretty heavy and uh, one single generator cannot feed them directly. However, even if one single generator is enough to supply to that load, if it's not operating in full load, the efficiency won't be as much as compared to a similar generator operating at full load. How, uh, in order to do that, we have a small, uh, uh, lower power rating, couple uh, more than one generators paralleled and they are supplying to the common load and all of them are operating at full loads. Hence, the efficiency of the generation site increases. Furthermore, uh, the parallel generators introduce a concept of backup generators and uh, maintenance without shutting down the power, so it increases the reliability of the power generation site. However, there are conditions for uh, there are certain conditions for paralleling the generators. The first one being the same exact same voltage BRMS level for all the generators that are paralleled. The parallel generators must have the same phase sequence, be it ABC or ACB. Uh, the phase angles which in our case is 120 degrees, must be the exact same for all of the parallel generators. Lastly, the frequency of the on oncoming generator or the new one that is connected to the existing generators must be slightly higher than the frequency of the existing ones. In order to ensure that um, the frequency uh, is maintained, the speed of the prime mover on the, or the source of the generator uh, is uh, maintained and regulated. There are a couple of uh, control mechanisms for that and all of the control mechanisms are actually categorized into four major categories. The first one being centralized which is expensive and non-expendable. The second and third are hierarchical or distributive which mainly uh, revolve around the idea of telecommunication. The fourth one is which is being uh, which is the spotlight of this presentation is the fully autonomous. This paper will focus on two of the fully autonomous control methodologies. Uh, let's, on, uh, let's move on to the first control, uh, fully autonomous control methodology. The name of this methodology is the droop control. The droop control is characterized by uh, a drop in the frequency with the increase in power. A droop, a droop algorithm consists of uh, a control uh, mechanism which takes an input, uh, which takes in uh, actual speed and the reference speed and the actual power and the reference power uh, as inputs and then uh, the controller is uh, nothing but a negative gain block and then the output uh, is a signal to the actuator which changes the level of the valve of the fuel uh, which affects the speed of the prime mover uh, and then um, uh, the major problem of this control methodology is that there is a drop in speed and uh, if the power exceeds some limitation, uh, in our case which is 50 Hz, then um, the appliances might damage because they cannot operate at anything below or above 50 Hz. So therefore, uh, this uh, methodology is a little discouraged. So um, the other methodology that we are going to discuss is the isochronous control. The isochronous control. Uh, there isn't a drop in frequency until a threshold maximum power. The frequency stays at 50 Hz. But the, uh, the problem with this methodology is that if we have more than one generators, then due to a inherent feedback loop, con uh, feedback loop uh, control methodology, uh, the difference between the frequency of the oncoming and the existing generators will keep on increasing, keep on increasing until to the point that the uh, the oncoming generator actually starts behaving like a motor and defeating the purpose of parallel generation. So uh, in uh, 2017, there was uh, another control methodology which was uh, introduced and it 
uh, it was an am amalgamation of both the isochronous and group methodology uh, and it's it it's therefore called the hybrid isochronous and group control strategy this strategy uh, basically uh, ensures that there's a lot there's not much of a droop uh, or drop in frequency levels and it maintains it and a couple of generators can be paralleled without uh, affecting the overall frequency it can be seen from the graphs and when the generate generation starts and the load is very low only the first generator is supplying the power and regulates the frequency to the nominal free uh, nominal reference frequency using the iso control isochronous control mode however when it is about to reach its limit the other generator has to start due to the increasing load although this problem can be easily tackled by using communication channels and triggering a signal but since communication channels are discouraged in microgrids because of high interference at sites they cannot be used however instead of communication uh, the, the problem with the communication channels is that uh, due to a lot of inductive uh, phenomena going out in the generation site the the inductive uh, lines actually interfere with the communication data channels and therefore they are not used there uh, but instead of the communication channels uh, a minor droop is introduced in the second generator hence triggering it the same procedure continues for any if generator with the increase in load and the converse is also true that if the um, the there is a decrease in load the generator is shut close hence it increases the quality by regulating the frequency in a much much better way than the control methodology is discussed above and shuts down the generators except for the priority ones at the times when the load is low hence it's much better than the above two control methodologies discussed however the uh, for future references there will be a hybrid um, methodology which uh, entails the other categories for uh, control methodologies as well with taking care of the feasibility of the cost and interference thank you